Hey, this is Tyler Skin with Fly Rod Chronicles and West Virginia Fly Guys, and today we're going to be tying a golden stone fly. Uh, start by wrapping your hook with black 18 knot thread, and we're going to keep our we're going to keep our bobbin towards the the beginning of the hook here, right behind the hook eye, and I'm going to tie in some yellow goose biots. Uh, these are going to end up being the antenna of the fly. And as you can see, I pushed my bead head back here. And um, when we're done, I can just slide it back up over top of here. This is a size 14 Sage Caddis hook, and I believe my bead is a 2.5 millimeter bead. And I'm just going to take some, some tight wraps around the hook shank here, and then I'm going to snip my butt ends of my biop free. And I'm going to throw in a, a little whip finish after I get everything tidy maybe four or five wraps right here and I'm going to snip my tying thread free now I'm going to move that bead up and I'm going to start my tying thread again this time behind the bead and I'm going to work my way down um, snick my tag in free and then I'm going to work my way down to the uh, the, the barb of the hook where I'm going to tie in two more goose biots Once I get my goose biots uh, where I want them, I'm just going to continue to wrap up the hook shank here, building some bulk in the fly body, and I'm going to snip my butt ends free. Now I want to return my tying thread uh, back to the initial uh, tie-in point up here at the top, and I'm going to grab my UTC ultra wire in size small. And I'm going to hold it on the side of the hook shank here, and I'm going to wrap it all the way down to the, the base of the body. I'm going to leave my wire uh, hanging off there uh, for later, after I dub the body here. I'm going to dub it with a golden stonefly uh, a dubbing from Hairline. And I'm just going to create a very slender dubbing noodle. And I'm going to do touching wraps up the hook shank. Adding more as I need it. We want to be sure that we don't build up too much bulk in the fly body here, but at the same time, we want it to have a little bit of bugginess to it because it is a stone fly. I'm going to grab my wire and I'm going to do open spiral wraps all the way to about the three force point. And I'm going to tie it off there. Um, we don't need to go any farther than this because the rest of that's going to be a wing case and legs. I'm going to helicopter my wire free and I'm going to reach for my pheasant tail. I'm going to grab, I don't know, six to eight fibers. Um, I'm going to snip off the tips of the pheasant tail fibers and I'm going to tie it in there. When I've got my pheasant tail where I want it and it's tied in nice and sturdy, I'm going to reach for the dubbing again. And this time I'm going to really try to build some bulk because um, later we're going to take a, a dubbing brush to this and we're going to pick out the legs. And um, the, more, the more bulk here, the, the more legs we'll, we'll end up with whenever we pick it out. I'm going to double over my pheasant tail and I'm going to wrap it down right behind the bead. I'm going to snip it free here. And then I'm going to throw in probably a five or six turn whip finish. Followed by another four or five turn. I'm going to reach for my uh, solar res here and um, I like to put a dab of solar res on a note card and apply it with my bobbin because it um, seems like you can kind of refine it a little bit better and uh, it doesn't it doesn't create a mess that way so I'm going to coat this pheasant tail backing here to create a little bit of a wing case and hopefully the uh, the toothy brown trout that bites onto this thing isn't going to tear up or fly too bad. 
Once I got my solar eyes where I wanted, I'm gonna hit it with a shot of UV light real fast here. I'm gonna reach in here with my dubbing brush after I cure my resin, and I'm gonna pick out the legs on each side of the wing case here. And then I'm gonna come in with my tying scissors and I'm gonna clip my legs um, right even with the hook point. And after that, our fly is finished. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Also, go to www.westvirginiaflyguys.com for more. Thanks for watching.